Farm Bureau Air Show 2018 with Randy Tinseth, VP Marketing at Boeing. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure to be here. Uh, Randy, you've just issued your new CMO and for the first time included services in it. Can you give us a few of the highlights of the uh, new forecast and how it differs from last year? Yeah, well, uh, this year we're forecasting a total demand for about $6.3 trillion in new airplanes, about 43,000 aircraft over the next 20 years. And as you said, this year we're, we're trying to take a hard look at what services will be needed to wrap around both those new airplane deliveries as well as the existing fleet. And I think it's no surprise we see even in a larger market of about $8.8 .8 trillion for services. So in total, we're looking at about a $15 trillion market. That's a substantial market. Oh, it's yeah. a substantial market. And I think that one of the reasons we wanted to uh, take a hard look at services, of course, we stood up. Uh, our services business last year, it's been in one, year, one year in operation, a little bit more, it's performing really well. But we wanted to emphasize that real opportunity. You know, there's a number of trends in the market that are really supporting services growth. First, our customers are outsourcing more and more of what they do. They're focusing more on passengers and they're asking others to provide their services so they can reduce cost. We're also seeing uh, uh, analytics and data playing a big role uh, in that part of the market. And the other thing I think is really interesting about the services market is really the innovation that's going on. You know, we have companies out there that are using drones to do maintenance inspections. We have companies out there that are using augmented reality to do maintenance and to get a view of what's, what they can do in terms of modification. We have virtual reality around training. Uh, and uh, think about this, when it comes to digital aviation and, and analytics, we have a tool that's called Airplane Health Management. Uh, we have over 100 customers for that tool. It manages over 4,500 aircraft. So not only can that tool you, be used to identify and fix problems today, it can predict problems. So if you can predict a problem, you can fix it before it happens. That means more hours per day of flying. That means higher reliability and for our customers. That means uh, less disruption in their networks. Right. Normally, we can we can categorize a show by a theme. We've had the year of the 787, the year of the Neo, the year of the Max. Is this the year of the freighter, Randy? Yeah, I think last year, our last air show, I think it was the, the year of the, the single-aisle aircraft, whether it be the Max or the Neo. There's no question. This year, it's the year of the freighter. You know, we've had two, two and a half years where the freight market has come back. It's been growing above trend. We're in a position where virtually all the airplanes that had been parked or in the desert are now back fully employed. And you could make an argument that the growth we see in the marketplace is being constrained on capacity. So our customers out there, they're buying uh, new aircraft. In fact, if you just take a look back over the last 18 months, the last 18 months, I'll have to do the tally quickly in my, my, my brain, but it's around 125 freighter and freighter conversions. And the, the air show alone, we've had, what, 72, 73. So it's been a really, really good 18 months. Very substantial. Can you tell us a little bit about the middle of the market? Because that's certainly a, an area that everyone's interested in what Boeing is going to do. And how large is the market for that aircraft? Yeah, I think the first question that I had after I presented the, the forecast yesterday was how, you know, is the a new mid-market airplane in the forecast? And I tell you, it is, essentially is. Uh, when we take a look at the market over the next 20 years for that kind of airplane, some of it will come from the single aisle market. Some will come from the wide body market. And should we go forward with this product and get it right? I can tell you, you get it right, you optimize for the marketplace, a little bit of demand will be stimulated as a result of the right product. So over the next 20 years, we do see a demand somewhere between four and 5,000 aircraft uh, for that middle of the market segment. Um, and it's really a segment as we see it. Okay, it, it's really a market that we see cannot be efficiently and effectively served by the airplanes that are in the market today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being with us, Randy. Thank you.